multiple conditions uh, multiple condition checking in if nested if and then we will look into for loop as well so these three things we will do today okay now let me just log in in my org So uh, anyway, have you written any class till now of your own? Yes, sir. OK, so please do that. At least whatever I was showing, that part, like till that thing, at least whatever I am showing every day, uh, do that, try to do that of your own. You are saying these things, you have the recordings as well, but write the code of your own. Say, uh, so let's see. Uh, I'll tell you what is arguments like function arguments but in next class and i will try to define the constructor as well at the same class so we are picking up the pace till now i was going little slow but now we will go a little fast so be attentive and ask whatever you like, if you don't understand anything, just uh, let me know. Anyway, you can see my screen, right? Yes, sir. OK. First thing is that if we have to check this if or whatever it is, it must be within a method. Within, uh, within this class, within the class, you can only define variable and function you cannot write the other logic whatever we were writing that you cannot write directly within class okay so say let's do this another thing whenever you are defining your class the name, whatever you are giving, all the words, whatever is consisting with, within that name of that class, all the first uh, letters will be capital. And when you are defining any uh, method, okay, then the first letter of uh, that name would be small, and uh, all other letters of uh, of the words of whatever word you are using, if there are three words you are actually using uh, as a name of a method, then first letter would be small. And for remaining words, first letter will, will be capital. So I am just using one method that is check if. Okay. So first thing is that, say, I have to write something. I, I need to write some, some kind of, say, whenever we are looking into any kind of, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, 
we are consuming anything or we are paying the bill, uh, most of the time we see the discount thing, right? So the discount is something like if it is between range of uh, zero to thousand, like one to uh, thousand, then you will get uh, some ten percent. If it is more than thousand and less than five thousand, then it is around fifteen percent. Uh, otherwise, if it is more than five thousand, then it would be say twenty percent. This kind of things we see. So if this kind of things we have to uh implement using obviously these things are actually implemented by some computer program nowadays right because that automated billing system and all these things that comes and uh, those calculations are done depending upon uh like some program is written at the background so uh how these things are actually calculated what is the way to uh calculate this kind of things so there would be some variable in that variable that amount will be stored say here that is a and we are taking with we are considering whole number for now uh, that is fine no issue with that uh, if you can write this with integer you can write it with double s so now uh, say this is uh, what kind of scenario uh, we we were looking into like Say I am just giving uh, fixed discount for now, not percentage. Uh, percentage calculation, you can, that is nothing but mathematical calculation, which we have seen in our last class. So say if, and then I have my, obviously the else will be there. So if A is greater than say thousand and what I am saying and and means here this ampersand sign two times ampersand sign will be considered as and A is less than say equal to five thousand then i am going to give discount now this discount say i have defined one variable dis i have to calculate this discount so this discount is equal to say for here i am just putting uh, this thing you will be uh, writing the code to calculate the discount. That thing I will uh, check. So here uh, the discount is say 100. If it is uh, greater than If it is greater than five thousand and less than equals to ten thousand, then it would be say five hundred. And if it is greater than 10,000, then say it is 1,000. And I am just putting what is the discount. So value of this is 
is something like this. Okay. Now, ideally, what I have stated, that thing I have written, that kind of thing I have written. But is this the efficient way of uh, doing the or making the uh, writing your program? That thing we need to understand. First thing is that what is this M percent M percent? So M percent M percent is nothing but condition and. And how this AND condition works, uh, it is simple. Let's have a small tracing table. Just give me one minute. So final, say, condition one, condition, condition two. If we can understand with two conditions, then uh, with anything we can, uh, with any number of condition, we can check that. So this is and logic. OK. And we have to check the or logic as well. So if condition one is, say, true, and let's start with the false, false. False, true. False. So if I have only two conditions, uh, then what will happen? Like it max, it can be like this kind of combination we can have. Like both the conditions are false. Both uh, one condition is false, first condition is false, second condition is true. First condition is true, second condition is false, and both the conditions are true. Max, we can have these combinations, right? We cannot have anything else beyond these conditions, correct? So what is the outcome in case of AND and uh, what is the outcome in case of OR? So AND in programming, how we uh, work with AND in if condition or in any other condition checking. So two M percent will be used. And for this one, pipe sign, this is called pipe sign. OK. So within bracket, whatever I am writing, that is uh, 
probably I have to increase the font. Okay, this is pipe sign. Two pipes I have given, one after another. That is odd. So, what is the outcome? Just always remember this. If it is and, and both the conditions are true, then only it will be true. Otherwise, it will always be false. Okay, or or the basic logic. If either of the condition is true, it will be true. Otherwise, it will be false. So that means if both the conditions are false, then only it will be false. Otherwise, it will always be true. So this is basic uh, kind of logic which you have to keep in your mind. Now, if it is increasing, the logic remains same. If for and, if one of those values are false, then uh, it will be false. Say there are 15 conditions. I am just putting as and, 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 and. 14 are true, only one is false. Then also the outcome, the final outcome would be false. And for or, if there are 15 conditions and only one condition is true, then also it will become true. Okay. So here, uh, why I had to use and not or? Because I am checking both the conditions. So if it is less than 1000, then there is uh, discount will be zero anyway. So I am not putting any condition for that. But if it is greater than 1000 and less than equals to 5000, then the value would be 100. Simple. If it is uh, same way, if it is A is greater than 5000 and less than equals to 10,000, this value will be 500. Now, the Kandi, uh, just check one important part. I haven't written the else thing. So that means else is not mandatory. Whenever I am writing if, else is not mandatory. But if we are trying to <coughs> check, if we are trying to uh, do something where the negative part also, like if that condition is not true, in that scenario also I have to do something. In that scenario, I should be using uh, I should be using else. Okay. Now, uh, what we have done here? First thing is that A is uh, like independent. I have written independent if condition. So every time, whenever like uh, all these if conditions will be checked. When even the value is, if that value is less than uh, 1000, then also all these conditions will be checked. Correct? Like all these if conditions will be executed. So it is not a very efficient way. So last year we have discussed about how we can make the things more efficient. So today, first thing, what you have to do? Before making it efficient, just rewrite this program, the same program, and check this discount with here, it should be 10%. So if it is 10%, then what should be the uh, formula or what should be the arithmetic condition you have to put? And for this thing, it should be 20%. So first thing is that rewrite this program where I have just assigned direct values in uh, discount or in this variable DIS. First thing is that what you have to do for this condition, you have to calculate 10% of A. It should be 10% of A, sorry, 15% and for this it should be 
twenty percent of it. This calculation just put these calculations instead of this fixed values. Okay, so start writing that. Once completed, we will check. So I'm coming back in two minutes. Is it done? Wait here, Robert.
सिंपल क्या करते शुद्ध टेन पार्सेंट क्योंकुलेशन फिफ्टीन पार्सेंट क्योंकुलेशन एंड टोटी पार्सेंट क्योंकुलेशन निबंधन हो गए थे गाइस एम आई ऑडिबल हां सर एनीवन क्यों कंप्लीट करे छो की মানে আমি চ্যাটে অলরেডি দিয়ে দিয়েছি কোড স্যার করেছি আউটপুটে চেক করছি जन इफ यू आर ट्राइंग टू सी एनीथिंग आई कैन नॉट हियर यू ओके बाकी रा अभिषेक प्रसून प्रियंका anyone no sir okay no. priyanka share your screen let me uh, check what you have written till now Priyanka, am I audible? Yes, sir. Actually, I'm. I'm not done. That is fine. Share your screen. Let me see what you have done. Okay, no sir. No difference when you are not audible. You are not audible, Dipanjan. If you are trying to say something, you have to. Probably you have to. Rejoin the meeting, but anyway, hopefully you have completed. But uh, 
I just wanted to understand about others. So one by one, I will check. So Priyanka, first you share your screen. And let me see. Even you were still not audible. Probably some issue in your microphone. You haven't written the class. Till now, Priyanka. No, sir. Why? Tum da ki shunte baat chile ni ya bol chile am na ki shunte ho baat chile. Sir, actually, I am not understanding what you are saying. You are not understanding anything. That's what I was asking at the beginning. Guys, whether you are uh, following me or not. So, what so, what to uh, wait for So, Priyanka, first thing is that uh, what you haven't understood till now. How we can define a class? Do you know? Yes, sir. Define that. How we can create a class here? Go to files. At the top, it is Apex class. Put some name. Yeah. Gibanjan, you are audible now, I believe. Yeah. So it has created the class. Now yes. how, how we can define a variable? Uh, so guys, uh, well, yeah, select just, the data type. Yeah, then... just a minute, Priyanka. So, I am not telling uh, to Priyanka only. So others, please don't listen to that. Whatever she is doing and what I am asking her to do, who have not completed, please do the same thing. OK? Right. So just put a tab space, Priyanka, first. So whenever we are writing any body, body means where the statement is not completed in a single line. That means it will have a body and that body will be enclosed within parentheses. That is second bracket. So whenever we are starting any body from the current uh, indentation, we will shift to one tab space so that we can clearly understand that body. So uh, just press tab. Right. So if we have to define any variable, first, uh, you can just keep that as public variable, right? Public. Then uh, data type. Yes. So the key. The first thing that is the integer, this word, that is not right. How I could understood? The thing is that the color is not changed. Right. Here you can just assign any value for now. Correct. Put semicolon. Why we are putting semicolon? Because we are clear. Yeah, completed. completing this statement within this line. Yes. So this is the first value what you are taking. Now you need another variable where you can store that discount or whatever we are going to calculate, right? So yes. find that variable as well. 
No, after semicolon, when you are writing something, that means you have completed that statement. So either you have to again write public integer and some variable name. Otherwise, you have to uh, put comma after that 1000 and then you can define it if you want to uh, define that in a single statement. Okay. Yes, sir. Then we, uh, we, do, we don't have to put a semicolon. Right now, we don't have to put semicolon because it is not completed as you are going to define another variable. Right? So put comma, put any variable name, put B. That is also fine for now. Put zero for, for now. It We are going to calculate the value within this variable, right? So now your statement is completed. So put semicolon now. Okay, put enter. So how we can uh, uh, check whether A is greater than something or not, what we are going to write, uh, right? That is logic, right? Public, that right. is the program, program logic. So if we have to write the program, like if we have to write the logic, then it must be within some method. Yes, sir. So now we have to define the method. So yes. again, put public. Space void. When we are defining method without any return type, that is void. You can put any variable name. Check is fine. Keep it like that. First bracket, open, close. When we are defining any method, we have to follow this structure. Right. So it will not be completed in a single line because this method will have a body. So we have to put the second bracket. Put enter. There only. Okay. Now just write if. So what is if? If is only for checking a condition. Is uh, true or false? If the condition is true, then the if body the part of if will execute if uh, the condition or the cumulative value is false then it will actually uh, go to else yes okay so uh, just give me one minute so what we are going to check the value of a if that is greater than 1000 and less than equals to 5000. Greater than 1000, 1000 is 1000. How we put and ampersand ampersand, good. Put space and if A is less than equals to 5000. So again, if here there would be some body of if because we are checking the condition after that, we are going to do something again. Correct. Then discount. Right. Discount was the variable name I have given. I have defined the variable as discount. You have defined the variable as B. So you have to okay. write B is equal to, right? Yes, yes sir. Complete the remaining part. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, Shushobhan, I will come back to you after uh, everybody has completed their part. Okay. Uh, how we can uh, uh, check the value. Okay. Prashun, what is the scenario? Sir, I'm sorry, sir. I have not created the day work. You haven't created the day work. Hmm. So I get it. Can I show my Yes, because I will come back to you. So, Prushun, what you were doing for last three days? 
So if you think you just need to uh, follow the admin part, so do that, take some time off and then come back in the next batch. If you, if you are not doing every day, whatever I am telling you, if you are not looking into that after four or five class, you cannot catch up. It is not possible for you. So from the next week, I, I will follow you, sir. I promise you, sir. So where or how you were uh, practicing the admin uh, things? Not in day work, then in which org you were practicing? Is this the same, same org, sir? Uh, Priyanka, can you please unshare? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. No issue, no issue. Which org you were talking about, Prushun? Share your screen. Let me check that. please share your screen. Anyway, let him join back. So in which org you are practicing? So you already have that org, right? Go to setup. Don't don't click on setup. Click on that gear icon, but don't click on setup. At the bottom, you have the developer console, right? Click on that. Go to file, click new. We have your Apex class there in the list. So when I was describing things to Priyanka, at the same time, I was just saying this, this thing only. Prashun, you can unshare your screen and complete this program. Sir, yeah, we should. Sir, I have done it, but there are uh, there is problems showing there, sir. There I is so share, yeah, share your screen. Share your screen. Bah. It was very good. On a day, poor on a day, good. Hmm. Just give me one minute. Mm -hmm. So, first thing, where you are seeing the first problem? Sir, first problem in line five, sir. Line five. Found punctuation symbol or operator percent that isn't valid in apex that isn't valid in apex so what is 10 percent of a if you write 10 percent of a can a uh, system understand that that statement so any programming language even the high level languages hmm. that can only understand the language of mathematics the basic 
language of mathematics not instructions or statement here you have to put this 10% of a in mathematical language so how you can uh, calculate percentage in pen and paper how you can do that sir a into 10 by 100 a into 10 by 100 so here also you have to write the same thing money a multiplication 10 divided by 100 yes sir so said should i use fast bracket there you can can i show uh, i will come back to you vikash so obhishek hmm. basic thing 10 a multiplied by 10 divided by 100 that is the only thing you have to do. So 10 multiplication? No. Ideally, you it will do the same thing, but hmm. ideally what you have to do? You have to take the variable. You have to multiply that with 10. It will not make much difference. But basic algebra and programming language, there is some uh, differences. So what you are actually doing, try to write it in that order only. <laughs> And then divided by 100. 10 divided by 100. Correct. So now what uh, Vikash was saying, ideally you should be putting A into 10 within first bracket. If you want to specify that this part needs to be executed first. But again, it will actually, this multiplication and division will be done in same uh, like. Uh, same position. So the same thing you have to do for the remaining ones. Okay, sir. I am, I am, I am changing. It. Okay. So you can unshare here and you can do the change at the background. Yes, sir. And uh, because you were saying something. Okay. Can I show my screen? Yep, yep. <laughs> This Sorry. one is also good. So, what you need to do, like what you were asking about, ten percent on a. If you execute it, what so, will happen? You tell me. The percentage calculation. Percentage on, calculation is fine. On, percentage calculation is fine, but you tell me. You have defined one integer variable with name dis you have defined that at class level and within your program you have used another dis and you have defined that as double yeah System but otherwise uh, otherwise cannot the run so i put the double so first of all i because without, yes logically what you have thought that thought process is correct that it needs to be double but how you can define variable with same name where another variable is actually active there okay how you can do that so first thing is that if Already. you want to define this as double then uh, that dis equals to zero which you have defined as integer Define that as double. Oh. That is the first thing. Now the second thing. Within if body, what I have told, like local variable, within a body, if you are defining any variable, the lifetime of that variable is within that uh, body itself. Outside of that body, you cannot access it. So right, right now, what you have written, what is going to happen? This class level and local variable with same name can exist and that can create issue as well. I will discuss that later. But for now, just understand this part. You have defined this double DIS within if. For within if, you have defined it thrice. 
why you had to define this thrice because the lifetime of this uh, dis that is within line 6 only for first time like in line 5 what dis you have defined lifetime ends in line 6 double dis defined in line 8 that is also uh, the lifetime of that is only the next line because that body is completing the body got end at that line the body of if right yes sir so if you had to use this thing as well with the local variable then also you had to define this double dis within check if it, if that method yes correct so rectify it first so either you make that uh, uh, double uh, yes at the top make that as double or define that like you can define it like put uh, semicolon can i put a uh, double variable in this here no you have to uh, in a line first then you have to in next line you have to define that as a double so after a equals to one one zero comma in that place of comma, you have to put semicolon first in line two. Absolutely. Indentation is pathetic. Please correct that. Sir, sir, he has said discount should be said A into 0.20, not divided by, sir. Uh, again, uh, that is a different uh, like approach of doing that. Oh. So, 10 by 100, what is the value? 0. 0.10. But then, if I multiply something with 0. 0.10, what will happen? That will give me 10% only. Uh -huh. So, that is simple mathematics. So, that is simple. That That is not a big deal. Uh, uh, because first, this is right well, sir. first line at line two, yes, sir. have you ended that uh, statement? It's more, sir. Something is wrong. That you have to do. That's why it is complaining. It's complaining. Now, second line, uh, the statement is correct, indentation is uh, not correct. So, please make that aligned. So it's line three, line three, line three. Okay, double. You are starting, you are starting from you are starting from a place position uh, which is wrong. It should be yes. Now the indentation is correct. Now you have defined a double dis. Then why in line six or uh, line nine or line twelve you have to redefine it? You don't need to write that double again, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already, so I you have already defined it. Done. Mm -hmm. Now save it. Can I save? Yeah, control is simply. If it is saved at the it top, you it is saving now. It yes, is saving. Uh -huh, saving. and the star star sign is gone now, right? Yes. Now go to debug at the top, right? So uh, my first class X. Then you have to define the uh, like you have to put the values. Yes. Sir. Here, what you have to do? x dot check if that you have to call x dot not within debug remove that debug how we can access any member of a class we have to define the object in line one you have defined the object the next thing what you, we have to do we can access the member variables or member functions with dot. Okay. So, object name dot that 
variable name or method name. So here you have to write x dot check if x dot c h e c k first bracket open close semicolon so what you have done here you have actually uh, defined the object first of your class yes. and the name of that object is x now any member of class my, my first class if i have to access i have to put x dot that thing if it is variable then this first bracket open close will not be there if it is method first bracket open close will be there fine is it clear because yes click execute now it will automatically it has created the log value of this is the same value it it has provided let's check uh, what you have written there once more not sure what you have done let me just check that quickly the value is not correct uh, for sure but at least the programs uh, syntactically the program is correct yes Right. Multiplication. Yes. Multiplication. Hmm. Wait. 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 Have you saved? Oh. Wait, that is not saved. Yeah, now you can execute. Yes. Yes. Now it is correct. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Shushobon, uh, you got the point how we can execute this program, right? Yes, sir. Anyone else having any issue who has not completed till now? Sir, can you see my book one second? Yeah, I can, I can. Uh, so, Priyanka, you can share your screen yes, uh, because you can just unshare. Yes, Priyanka, you can share. So there are some errors. Perfect. Good. I, I like these errors. So first error, where it is showing error? Six. OK, at line six. Yes. At line six, what is it is saying? Missing semicolon at second bracket. What is missing semicolon? At line five, that is a statement, right? 
line five. B is equal to A into 10 divided by 100. Right. Now, that is the first thing. Second thing is that if you are calculating 10% in that way, so for B, what you have to do? Sum. No, that is the, yeah. Move that whole thing. And that uh, slash slash is nothing but the comment that uh, we can like something if we want to write within code but i want to make the uh, compiler to understand that i haven't written this for you to interpret so this is the way of documentation like whenever i am writing something what i am trying to do with that piece of code i can put that in a comment so now here it will be A into 15 divided by 100, semicolon. Next. Method must be a body. That is at the end. But before that, uh, when you are changing, just uh, check the line 11 as well. Twenty percent. Yes, sir. Now you have started the uh, method check if. Correct. Yes. Sir. With second bracket, so it yes. needs to be completed by second bracket. Yes. So put that second bracket after this system dot debug. Press enter. No. Press enter. Not that much. Sorry, Just sorry. only one. Just give me one minute. Okay, so uh, first thing is that the second bracket is missing. Second bracket, uh, the first second bracket for that method was missing. Now you have put that second bracket. Now you have another second bracket you have started in line one for the class. That second bracket is it. The only the closing bracket will be there. Hmm. 
now why you were not finding it what you had to do the first reason is the indentation of this program is pathetic right now that's why you cannot understand what what is actually missing so Sir, i understand by what happened but uh, the next step i can't understand right so whenever you are starting any class whenever you have written that just put that first bracket and second bracket uh, if you put the first bracket it will automatically give you the second bracket okay and put enter from there so it will automatically take the indentation you will see that there will be one tab space uh, you will always get when you are putting this kind of body so follow that indentation in that okay. sense, what will happen that you will clearly understand what is missing okay sir. okay now uh, when you will execute this it might happen that the uh, fractional part will get truncated okay because uh, what Double. Take, yeah you have taken integer only so the integer part will be there but the uh, precision might be so you can just change that to double as well like the b can be defined as double only uh, not there in line number two you have to go to line number two and a equals to 1000 put semicolon after that instead of comma semicolon put enter and here define b as double so how to save the class sir control s sir only uh, for, uh, first stage it will work whatever you have written that will work and if you think that you are not like with the language, if you are facing any issue, let me know. So let me bangla evolve. Okay. So Priyanka, I believe you have completed. You can just execute that uh, yeah. from debug. Uh, but we have just checked. Anyone else? Sir. Showed up. Yes, sir. Tell me. Sir, debug is not happening. Uh, there's an issue in the debug. Can you please share your screen? Yes. Sir. Very good. Execute. Hmm. Execute. Go to the logs at the first step. Uh, you have these problems, right? Then logs. Yeah. So open the top one. Top one. So it will always be in. You have executed it almost five times or six times. Yes, sir. So every time it created the log, you had to go to this log and you will find this log. Uh, now you scroll down. Scroll down. Click on uh, debug only. Just above this log, there is this frame. Yeah, debug, debug only. Value of this is 111 at uh, line number 14. Uh, uncheck this 
डिवागलर स्क्रॉल डाउन लिटिल बिट वेट 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 दिस इज द वैल्यू लाइन फोर्टीन यू आर गेटिंग इन हियर सर वन थिंग सर एवरी टाइम वेन आई हैव टू एक्सिक्यूट दिस थिंग ना आई हैव टू दिस एंटर चेक इफ एवरी टाइम अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक फर्स्ट आई कैन आंसर दिस इन येस एंड नो बट दैट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टू वट इज चेक इफ Checkif is the method you have written. Hmm. Within that method, you are you have written your code. You yes. you have written your logic. Yes. So if you have to execute that logic, if you have to execute that part, then you have to execute this method. Then only this body will get executed. Ah uh, yes, sir. Got your answer. Yes, and uh, one more thing. that mm-hmm. i can put uh, anything in uh, like um, a. text this one sir in Instead place of, of a, a you can uh-huh. yeah you can put abc as well acha if you put abc then it will be abc dot check if if it is obj then it will be obj dot check if so it is n- nothing but the name name of the object of my first class my first class is the class name then you have to put the name of the object by which you will call it hmm. so that name you can put anything okay okay and in this and check is a basic guidance first day i told you like it cannot start with a uh, number it cannot start with oh, uh, yes, cannot, those symbol things, yeah yeah anything else you have you want to understand no sir that's it thank you good Who are left? Bebab. Yes, sir. Sir, I'm not coming to you later. Yeah, ha. Bebab. Sir, the actual issue I am facing right now is, sir, uh, in my lock code discount is showing zero zero, sir. Sir, show me. Sir, same thing happened with me also. Okay. Yeah, let's do, let's, do. let's look uh, what uh, Bhava has created, and then uh, we will come back to you if that is not resolving your issue. Okay. Bhava, can you share your screen? Yes, sir. Sir, I'm uh, I'm doing it, sir. Okay. Sorry for the noise, sir. Uh, like, no issue. No issue. Sir, here it is. So value of zero point zero. Very good. Go to the class. Double this is equal to zero point zero. Okay, go to uh, debug log from where you have executed it. Wait a minute. Right, it will show zero zero. Yeah, any error? Ah, uh, no one will ah uh, say. By the way, what logic you have written? 
sir, I have written logic here as a means discount. Uh, well, whatever the number would be into ten by hundred. When, when, when that will happen? So it will happen when uh, the number is above one thousand and below than five thousand. What is the value of your A? So one thousand. Then what it will do? It will Achha. not. So the condition is not satisfied. Yes, line sir, yes, sir. line five condition is not satisfied. In line eight, again the condition is not satisfied. Yes, sir. In line eleven, again the condition is not satisfied. So the initial value was zero. That's what it is giving you zero. Yes, sir. So got it, sir. Priyanka got the point. Yes, sir. Yes. Good. Uh, okay. Let me come back to Shomnath. Shomnath, uh, you can share your screen, and you can tell me what is the issue. Shomnath, you are in mute. Shumnath. Click on hide. Click on, yeah. Tell me. Sir, there are two problems. I can't find what the problem is. First thing no. is that after this condition, you haven't written the statement. Can you please go in mute? Yeah. Line number 12. What you have to write in line number 12? You haven't checked the calculation of 20% there. Right? Yes, sir. So put that 20% uh, calculation here first. Okay, now close the if. Put, yeah. Put the second bracket of if. Good. So now, what is happening? Your first uh, thing, like the if statements are completed. Is your check if method is completed by second bracket? No. Right? So put one enter. Put second record, closing second record. So if you, yeah, now what is happening? Like your both the uh, second records are completed, but the in line 15, you have put one after another. So just put one enter before the last second record. So this is the best way to check. Yes, this line number 15, it is the closing bracket of the class. OK. That's why it was giving the error. Now it is fine. OK. So I believe we are done. Uh, done with everybody, right? Sir, I can debug, sir. Can you please help me? You are not able to debug? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, person, you will share your screen.
go to debug debug uh, thing yeah open execute anonymous so what is your class name my class put my class put space so this is your class name now you have to define the object so put the object name obj1 equals to new my class first bracket open close semicolon new space my class okay so go to next line so what is your object name now what is the B object name obj1 oh, right yes sir. and your method is check if so here you have to put obj1 dot the method name you have given what is the method name check if bracket open close for method we have to do this semicolon now click execute you have got the log double click on that log right this is not the one uh, close it if you want to quickly look into uh, the debug you can click on check on debug only above log there are a couple of check boxes there are four check boxes this frame executable then debug click on that debug debug on mm -hmm. value of dis zero you have got your debug Okay. Got it, Prashun? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So completed for everybody, right? Yes, sir. Okay. For Dipanjan, I know he will do the things correct. There is no point to check that. Uh, next day somebody has something okay so next day uh there are a few programs you have to write first program is check whether a number is even or odd check whether a number is even or odd Okay, whatever we have already uh, gone through, it is quite easy for you. Okay. Second thing. We have a uh, defined string, right? In the first class, I have shown how we can define string. So write a program to check. Take a string that is the color of a shirt. The string is a color of a shirt. If that color is red, give discount of 10%. If the color of that shirt is yellow, give 20% discount and if the color of the shirt is green give 30 percent discount so this is the second program you are going to write so for this what you have to do 
you have to take one variable to store the value of the t-shirt. You have to take one string where you will store the color. Okay. And then you have to take one variable where you have to store the calculation of the discount. So these three variables you have to define. Okay. Then with string, you have to compare the value. Whether that is red, the color of the t-shirt will be taken in a variable and that value will be checked with whether that is red or yellow or green. Okay. First program is simple. Whether a number is odd or even showed up. Okay, sir. Now, uh, when you are going through string, go, go through string class, how to compare strings, that is one of the important thing. thing. So I will uh, share the string class in Apex. So there are so many methods. In string, there are so many methods. You have to check and you have to identify by which method you are going to compare string values. Okay. So I have given the link in WhatsApp group. So next day, first, these two programs, I will check for everybody, then I will move on. Hello. Sir, please repeat the second question. Uh, you have to take the color of a t-shirt, and you have to check whether that is red, yellow, or green. If it is red, then discount will be 10%. If it is yellow, discount will be 20%. If it is uh, green, then discount will be 30%. Oops. Anyway, you will get that in the recording. Right. So let me stop the recording. <laughs>